here we have a young, beautiful, energetic Afropop music artist all the way from Nigeria and that is none other than Gucci. How are you feeling Gucci? I'm good, I feel good. How's the weather here compared to the one in Nigeria? Uh, it's calm, it's cold. Nigeria is hot. <laughs> oh right now Nigeria is hot. It's really hot. You, you are in Kenya right now. We'd love to know why did you choose Kenya as the place you're going to perform um, on the 9th? Um, I chose Kenya because the love from Kenya have been really massive. Mm -hmm. This is my first time in Kenya, but, uh, but then my social media is always like, Gucci, you need to be in Kenya. And then I get a lot of comments from YouTube saying, Gucci, we love you so much. And, you know, I just want to show Kenyans how much I love them too. So that's why I'm here. And that is, what is that one thing you love the most about Kenya? Um, their reception, like I said earlier. Um, their reception is really nice. And what about the food? Uh, I tried, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, I forgot the names of beans and coconuts. Um, I tried it, it's, it's not bad, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. And now that you have an event on Saturday the 9th of July, what are you expecting from the Kenyan people? Well, I'm expecting love. Just love? Love, I'm expecting love. Love comes with a lot of things, so love. And during a live concert, there are many things that happen, you know, during on their performing. What's the least thing that's, okay, what's the least favorite thing that's happened to you when performing? Mm, I almost fell on stage. <laughs> you, you almost fell on stage? I, I almost <laughs> fell, but I didn't fall, thank God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And the most favorite thing? The most favorite thing is the love. You can see it in their faces. They're like, God, I love you, Gucci. That shit gets me crazy, like. Oh, I'm really loved. Yeah. And I want to ask a bit more about your song, Shattered. It's, you know, trending on TikTok. What do you, why do you think it's trending on there? Um, I think because a lot of people can really relate to heartbreak songs. A lot of people um, have gone through heartbreak. So I think that's why it's getting that much love and it's a good song. Are you going to perform it on stage? Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Um, on Kenya, there are many artists that you can maybe work with. Is there that one artist that you may maybe are um, looking forward to work with? Um, I'm going to be working with a lot of artists this time around because, like I said, the love for Kenya is really nice. And one way that you can spread your love through music is having collaboration. So I'm going to be having a few collaborations from Kenya and East Africa this period. And what's the reception on your music in, back in Nigeria? It's really cool. You know, we Nigerians we love we love the we love the banga, we love the crazy songs, the club songs, and you, you know me dropping scatter my head, Benzema, and you know other songs have been really crazy in Nigeria. The 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 love is also nice in Nigeria. And I'd sort of love to know what maybe inspires the type of music that you release. Um, the things around me, I like to speak to someone when I sing, whether it's a good, whether it's a, a, a love song or ha a happy song, I always like to, you know, be able to communicate with someone. Like the, the other song I had, um, Scatter My Head, I always start with like a storyline, like, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, yeah. and to make you tell me what is up, like what's going on, you know. So I like to always tell a story in my song. Gucci, and I can see you have your, uh, a really, uh, you know, nice style. I'd love to know what, what inspires this type of style and, you know, the purple thing going on. Well, the purple thing, it's a brand, it's a signature, and then it's, it also represents royalty, and I'm royal. And basically, you can give the chance to the other people who want to ask any more questions. Um, hi, Gucci. Hi. Um, Stam from Dubstream Entertainment. Um, you say you were, you were expecting love. Um, first of all, are you single? <laughs> well, uh -huh. um, I'm, I'm, I'm in a very serious relationship with my music, so I'm not single. Um, actually, Kenyans are expecting uh, you and Simple Boy to Am I what? You're a Simple Boy. Am simple, I what? Simple, simple, simple Boy. Simple. If I'm doing what with him? Um, he's an artist in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And actually, I would like you to meet uh, simple boy and maybe even have a thing. Is that is that how easy it is to have a thing? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that how easy it is? Well, if it was that easy to have a thing, then I would be having a thing with so many people. 
you know so um i don't know right about now i'm all about my music and my music hi Yes. Well, um everybody is a winner. Um the fact that I I was even nominated um at the first place is a big one for me. So I'm look I'm looking forward for the best. If I win, if I don't win, I'm still a winner. Who is Jennifer? <laughs> Who is Jennifer? Okay, so the story behind Jennifer is it, it didn't happen to me. Like I said, I like to tell stories when I sing. And I want to be able to communicate with my fans when I sing. And then I just, you know, thought about it. I was actually fixing my nails when the whole idea came. And then I had to, you know, rush home to record. My sister's name is Jennifer. I was actually trying to, I was listening to the beat and I was trying to do something and she was disturbing me. Her name is Jennifer. And then, you know, I got the first line of, um, you say you got me, but I don't say you the light, you the look in your eyes, stop acting funny. And you know, when she started disturbing me, I was like, she not because of Jennifer. Now she did do the da -di -da. oh, Jennifer. Oh, I'm looking for a girl called Jennifer. So the story behind Jennifer is every single, every, um, Every bad woman in a man's life is Jennifer. I'm sorry for the people that bear Jennifer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry, but that's what um, actually inspired it. Like, every bad woman or every man snatcher is Jennifer. So any woman that is there to scatter a home or to spoil a relationship is Jennifer. And about oh, you, you are an award-winning um, artist. And mm -hmm. You won the Af oh, you you were nominated in the yeah, Afrima, and you once won the prestigious awards. How yeah. was that for you? Um, I won the prestige award even before Jennifer, mm -hmm. and that was really inspiring to me because then I just started, and if I could be nominated when nobody even knew the name Gucci, then that means I could actually do more. So um, that was that was a huge one for me, even though it was not so big. And basically, in your music journey, what are the main challenges that you can say you mainly face? Um, one of my challenges is being a woman. Mm -hmm. What about it? I, I love that I am a woman, but then people have this, you know, this thing about being a woman. They feel like because you're a woman, you won't go so far. They think you're gonna you're gonna break down. They think you're so weak. You know, sometimes when I have um, club appearance, and you know, I am there for a reason. I am there to ginger the club. I'm there to make the club bubble. So why why would you tell me to sit down? Because I'm a woman. And then I come in and they're like, sit. But if a guy comes in, they're like, yeah, they're yeah. hyping. Why would you tell me to sit? I'm here to make the to to make the club fun. So, you know, there's this thing about being a woman. They think you're weak. They, they think you're going to give up at some point. That is the, the challenge that I have right now. And I'm really, really going to um, disappoint people because I'm here to stay. I'm here to let them know that women are actually stronger than they think we are. And that's on period. Yeah, that's on period. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. There is just this perceptive, um, perceptive, especially in Africa, especially, it's everywhere in the world though, but especially in Africa, they think women are supposed to, at some point, get married and focus on their kids, forgetting that they actually have a life. Well, for me, 
I, I think it's all about, you know, proving a point. At some point in my career, I think I would prove a point that would let people know that any woman can be a David Doe, any woman can be a Whiskey. So it's up to us, the women, mm -hmm. to, you know, prove that point to them. Not let them think we are weak. We are actually not weak. We're actually stronger than the men, you know. You know, there are some things the men cannot do that we can do. And for the women, for you to be in the industry, you have to actually work times four harder than the, man, the men. You know, if it was a guy that sound, uh, maybe um, a Jennifer, maybe he'll be, he'll be like the whiskey right now. Mm -hmm. But because it's a woman, oh, she's a woman. Uh, you know, so it's just for me to, you know, keep proven, um, proven to them that I can actually do better as a woman. Yeah. And basically, back to the live concert that you're going to have on Saturday, what are we supposed to expect from you? Well, this will be my first ever concert. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to, you know, making it the best concert I'm going to have. I don't know what to expect from the fans, mm -hmm. but I'm being positive about it. But from my side, expect fire. Oh, okay. Gucci. Mm -hmm. uh, Um, working with Ray Vani was the first international collaboration that I did. And, you know, when Jennifer blew up, I wasn't expecting, you know, it was one of those songs that I just put, I, I, at first I put out a freestyle, and then everybody was like, this song is so cool, you know, and then I had to drop it. And you know one of those songs that you drop, you know it's a good song, personally, yeah? But you, I wasn't expecting, you know, the, the whole love not just in Nigeria but in Africa and then when I got when Rebani reached out to me like he wanted to have a collaboration I was super excited because I had already discussed with my team that I wanted a Swahili vibe on Jennifer and it was just like God working you know and then Rebani reached out working with Rebani was really interesting because it was also my first time in East Africa yeah it was really interesting. We didn't just do the, the, the remix for Jennifer. We created another song. You know, it was my first, it, the, the song Sweets was like the easiest song that I've ever mm -hmm. recorded. That song didn't even take an hour. It was just, okay, the, the producer just, you know, gave the kick and the snare, and then I just came up with something. So working with Rayvani was, you know, really, really interesting. And we actually connected. Yeah. And uh, I'd love to know how, how can you know music artists reach you to maybe have a collab with you? Um, I have I have a link in my bio. Mm -hmm. I have a contact um, on Instagram, so you can always reach me there. You can maybe share with the people on that. Um, my Instagram handle is official Gucci. So there is a link, there is an email, and then there is a phone number there that you can use to reach. Me. Is there any more questions? Um, Gucci. So uh, recently. So I would like to, um, to tell you, like, what do you guys do, especially in Nigeria? Uh, how do you promote your music to other countries? How do you, how do you make that hit? Because Kenya, we are trying. I can say we are trying. Like, um, how do you market your music to, uh, to uh, other countries? To so the global market? Yeah, like the global market. Um. I guess, I guess good, a good music is a good music. We didn't push Jennifer, it just went there. It just went everywhere. Jennifer is that song that, you know, we didn't really push, but it was everywhere. So I think good music is good music. If you make a good song, your song would, it will fly on its own. And now thank God for social media and thank God for TikTok. If you put out a good song on TikTok, people would automatically you know, set the song themselves. And then, you you know you asked me a question that needs consultancy fee. You know? <laughs> uh. <laughs> you asked the question that needs consultancy fee, you know? You asked the question like, um, what do you guys do to promote your music? Of course, you reach out to um, music promoters, 
PRs, and you know, your song will be everywhere, if it's a good song. Um, and the uh, other, between Kelly and Tanzania, um, your best. I'm sorry, I love them both. <laughs> <laughs> Any other question? So guys, that's been it with our beautiful lady from Nigeria. Maybe you can tell them about yeah, a bit more about the concert on Saturday. Um, like I said earlier, the concert is my first ever concert. And I would expect nothing but love. Show me some love. You know, you guys have been saying, Gucci, come to Kenya, come to Kenya, we love you here. I'm here now. Show me some love. And I'm going to do my best as an artist to make sure that you're well entertained. And you're going to hear, you're going to listen to good music back to back. And then we have so many other good um, uh, um, celebrities performing. We have um, Willie Paul. We have um, Jovia. We have um, so many other people. So guys, come out and let's have some fun on the 9th of this month. Thank you so much, Gucci, for letting us have, have your time here. We really Thank appreciate it. Me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you, guys.